Hey guys, <laughs> my name is Gia and I am a vegan bodybuilder. Welcome. I get a lot of questions guys about why I squat the way that I squat. So hubby took a video of me at the gym and I um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to record my screen, my computer screen, as I explain to you, that's my computer screen, <laughs> as I explain to you uh, my thought process during my squats. I purposely did lighter weights so that I can focus on being able to sh do the exact proper form that I want to talk to you guys about and share with you guys. So if you have any questions, that was really hard for me to, to describe, um, just put it in the comments below. Comments below. Wish me luck in doing this video recording screen picture in picture thing. As I go through this video, I'm going to explain to you guys the reasons why I do what I do. So, first and foremost, and I'm going to pause the video. So, first and foremost, I always make sure and get my hair out of the way. Otherwise, the hair, the barbell gets stuck. And the last thing you want to do, girls especially, is get your hair stuck there and it just disrupts your form. So, the hair gets out of my way. Can you guys see my mug? I'm showing you here first what I don't do uh, when I squat. So you can see right now my hand placement and the bar is actually, I'm placing it, if you guys can see right here, it's on my spine. It's like right here on the spine nub. I see a lot of people doing that and for me it actually really hurts. So I'm showing you what not to do and I'm you've been using lighter weights so I can show you what not to do without injuring myself. So my hands are wider out like this. You can see they're, they're past my shoulders, uh, way past my shoulders. And I go underneath the bar. Both of my feet are planted, which is good. That's good. Uh, and then I lift up. I still engage my core because I, I didn't want to mess up like that uh, and just injure myself showing you guys what not to do. So before you do any squat, guys, make sure that you're engaging your core, not stuck, sticking your stomach in, but rather clenching your abs like somebody's about to punch you, right? So I, I go up, and in both occasions, you guys can see that I did a three-step walkout. Watch my feet. And here's what I'm about to show you guys. If you are lifting weight and the first thing that happens is your butt goes up before your torso and the rest of your body, you're probably not using too much weight because you need to lift your whole body up together. Watch this. So my bum goes up and then the rest of my body goes up. My bum goes up and the rest of my body goes up. And one more time, <laughs> the bum goes up and the rest of the body goes up. You know at that point that you're not doing something right because the idea is it's not you're supposed to be engaging your whole body as kind of one unit. Okay, so let me backtrack really quickly, guys, and I'm going to lower this volume. What I did in that in that squat is I kept my arms out which actually, while you think that it's going to create more balance for you, it actually creates more possibility of wobbling that bar because you're no longer kind of this one compact unit, which I'll show you next. Um, and then I still engaged my core and I still did my three-step walkout, which are good things. But then the, the thing that I did that I see a lot of people do that is not a good idea is to lift your butt up before your body. Um, you'll see in just a bit, what it looks like to move as you move your whole body as one unit. What I do want to show you guys right now is I asked my hubby to do a close-up of my hands here because I want you to look at my my hand placements. I always use the grips and the bars to figure out that I'm um, evenly distributed or I'm I'm gripping the bars the bar at an even distance on both sides, right? So my middle finger is actually um, it's actually on the line where it's smooth versus um, the rough part. Um, and I'm doing that with both my right hand and my left hand. You see that? 
Now here's what's different guys. You'll see my hands are way closer together. You're going to need some flexibility for this so it's really important even though you're doing squats, important to um, also stretch out your torso, your abs, your upper body, your arms, your shoulders before you do squats because what you'll see here is I'm going to take this bar and I'm going to put it lower on my back right here. It's actually going to go underneath my trap. Now for the folks with giant traps and giant muscles, you may not be able to go as far down as I do. Some people may be, be able to go further down than I do. But the focus here, guys, is I s contract my shoulders and I put that bar and rest it at the top of my back, not on my neck. So where in which it was here before, I'm putting it lower down and it's resting actually on my back, which means that I actually even create even more stability just because the center of gravity is now lower on my body instead of higher up. Uh, the thing that you guys will see as well is that I will tuck my elbows behind me so that I can make my body as much of a compact one unit as much as possible. I also have carpal tunnel guys so you will see that at some point I am going to make sure that my wrist is straight as much as possible. Where I'm supporting the bar but my hand is not like this. This is easy <laughs> damage for me personally. Uh, it's not like this. The bar's not resting on me like this. It's going to be resting like this. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. See, there you go. So it's far below my that neck, uh, that spine bone thing <laughs> that I did earlier. My shoulders are compact. My elbows are tucked. My feet are placed just past shoulder with the part one, two, three, step out. Stick my stomach out and brace. And here, you see I'm lifting my whole body as one unit. That butt is not going up first. The other thing I want you guys to notice is I'm, keep, I'm purposely trying to keep my spine lined up during the whole time. I actually, when I am in front of a mirror, especially when I'm lifting heavy, I make it a point to not look at the mirror because I want to feel my muscles, that they're using the right form and that they're properly engaged instead of looking at myself in the mirror. I feel like I'm, I'm a bit more disengaged with my body if I'm looking at the mirror versus feeling it, if that makes sense. Okay, I just gave you guys a full bum shot there. <laughs> You like my little clips? Mmm, I love them. They go with me every time I go to the gym. The other important thing, guys, is before you put that bar down, always look to your left and to your right and make sure it's in the little hook area. And there you go. I think that was it. That's it guys, so I hope that was helpful. So if there's a takeaway that I can, um, there's a few takeaways that I want you guys to think about is always start with a lighter weight, one, to get your body warm up. Stretch your entire body, get your body entire body warm. Even if you're just, you think squats is just legs, it's not, it's your core, it's your upper body, it's your shoulders, it's your back, it's everything, that's why it's an amazing workout. Um, and be very aware of the kind of your spine alignment throughout the process. And if you're, you're using your body as one unit versus separating it out between lifting your butt and then your, um, your, your upper body. Um, and then start to play around with where your grip may feel most comfortable. Some people may not be able to go as compact as I do, right? Um, some people may not. Some people may be able to go even more compact and some people... I don't know. You just gotta, you gotta figure out your what works for your rhythm, but play with it, guys. Um, do it safely. Always start with lighter weight, and as you feel like you're really functioning as one unit, then go a heavier weight. Always have clips, um, clamps, whatever you want to call them, 
um, on your bars. I don't care if it's 10 pound weight, I don't care if it's a 45 pound weight, 90 pounds, da da da, whatever. Um, use your clips because one thing can distract you and the plate can go flying this way, the other plate will go flying this way, and the whole world is flying and you don't know what happened to you. Um, but if you guys have any questions, go ahead and just put it in the comments below. I do hope that was helpful, guys. I know uh, if you're scared of doing the squat rack, do the assisted, assisted squat rack first. You know, the one where um, where the bar actually kind of glides onto the rest of the, the machine frame thing um, instead of doing kind of this free form squat. Squats are an amazing workout you can get really injured. So that's why I wanted to show you guys how to, how at least I do the squats. Um, yeah. If you guys are, aren't already following me on social, go ahead and feel free to do so if you want to. If you want to see more content from this mug, <laughs> hit the subscribe button. I don't post on a regular basis. I try to. Scheduling is hard. So hit the notification bell. It's right next to the subscribe button after you hit that one. <laughs> and then you'll hear a ding ding every time Baby Gorilla comes and posts a video on YouTube. Alright guys, I hope that was helpful. Yeah, that's it. See ya!